Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome back to more Rogue Galaxy. Okay, I'm in a bit of a different place. I essentially ran all the way back from Teleporter 7, not 7, the Teleporter on the 7th floor, because as I was running back through here, for some reason, I can't remember why I was doing it exactly, I noticed this guy. Yeah, so I figured I may as well talk to him before I actually continue, because I did record this like, well, going off of my tweet that I made after the game crashed. It was probably about eight hours ago. <laughs> actually wait, it's half past eight. Yeah, it was probably about eight hours ago. And since then, I've updated my um, PS3's custom firmware, because um, mine was severely outdated, and then decided to just play more Rogue Galaxy and do battle recorder stuff. And so I have. I've literally gotten everything I can. Apart from a few. But, uh, hang on. Like, all the ones that were on... Jurika, I went out of my way to get. So that's like Club Titan, Madala, the White Ghost, Stone Tortoise... Tortoise... Will-o'-the-Wisp... Like, most of the enemies here I didn't even bother with, because I'm like, hmm... Chances are I'll probably fight most of them. Does not mean I will be able to finish them off, but you never know. I, I would hope that I can finish off the Will-o'-the-Wisps. But we'll see. And the Ancient Knights, but, as I say, we'll see. Um, and then the other ones I went to go out of, or went out of my way to get were the ones that were on Alistia. I didn't manage to get all of them. There was just a few that I'd already spent like nearly three hours on the game. I, I don't even know if it was three hours. And I just kind of was like, well, kind of ready to record, so, you know. But yeah, it's just the Chadeth, Paranga, Deathwing, and Coral Mountains that I have yet to get. Whether I get them or not, I don't know. Depends if I can be asked to go back. Regardless. I also picked up some fancy-ass things. Oh yeah, I've got a bunch of these. No, oh, no, I don't. I picked up one. Oh boy. Wind resistance. Oh god, I forgot I picked up so much crap. Not good. <laughs> Which means I'm just going to spend a bunch of time trying to figure out who I want to give this to. Spinning moon. Before I do that, I want to find out what spinning moon is. Kasala, Jester, and Digo's ultimate. I mean, I'd rather not use that. Like, I'd rather not get that, because we don't have Digo. And honestly, he's not really a, a member I want in my party. Oh. Crap. I don't mind Digo, it's just... I prefer my current... Um... Party lineup. Wild Thing, level 2. Serpentine Arrow, level 2. Oh god, there's too much. Oh, right, never mind. I thought that was the biomemory. Oh, he can actually get fire resistance. And also lightning resistance. Yeah, sure. I only have one dark music box, but it doesn't really matter. What's it unlock? Of course. Something where I have literally everything, apart from the fall leaf clover. The clover just seems to be something that's always eluding me. Oh, lightning level 3. Oh. So he needs that to get HP up. Okay. Simon, you can get Shake Shake. I'd rather stick with people that are on my party. In my party. Yeah, we'll use that. I didn't realise I had two of them. Well, the more you know. Oh, boy. Oh, nearly. I ne <laughs> nearly screwed myself and used up the Stellar Crystal. And I still only have one of them. So, uh, you need to be real careful there. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, I might just use it with Jester. I mean, Fated Passion, I still need to find that. Whatever the hell that is. Probably something I don't get for a while. Kind of like everything else. Window. Oh, she gets Window. Wild Thing level 2. Sure. I don't remember what Wild Thing does. I also have this, but I have no idea. Oh! I should have really just read what the description gave me. Oh well. Wild thing. You're gonna say I'm just making sure it's nothing important that's required, like stellar crystals. I mean, you never know. No oh, man, I've still got a bunch of stuff. Oh, because of the divine protections. Oh, eternal soldiers. I forgot you could get that. Very good. Oh Christ. Well, that's fine. 
As long as I'm not using up a Stellar Crystal, I think I'll be okay. Because that's the one thing I'm worried about, is just using up something I don't mean to. Oh, five alarm fire. Forgot I'd picked up some of the Ceiling Sun Spheres. Oh dear, that unlocked a bunch. Luckily, it's using up, you know, materials that aren't... aren't exactly hard to come by. Terrible tune. Oh, and I finally have, um... I just noticed it very, very... Yeah, I've got 60 Hunter Coins. So once I'm done with the top of this tower, I'll go and get the Platinum License. Finally. It's taken long enough. And that's just as a result of going around and like, killing everything. <laughs> Alright. Steve also has more stuff. I think I actually picked up two of those. Yeah, look that way. Oh no, I didn't. I only had one. Oh man. Not to worry. And bio memory is what he needs there, as well as absolute zero. Divine protection. I've picked up... I've got four of those. You can actually buy them. On Jerika. Yeah, once you've got a Platinum License, you have access to buying them, which is quite nice. There we go. Right, no more Stellar Crystals. It's just Gisala. Cool. We good. Right, what I want to do real quick, because I did actually switch to using Zegrim and Simon for a small amount of time. So I may as well use a Toadie to just do some of this. It wasn't exactly much. I think I've already done that. Nothing special comes to mind. Try whatever you like. You can actually... Really? That, to me, that just seems like a bad idea. Flamethrower. Flaming Dragon. Ranger Part 2. Executioner. I haven't done that yet. Something Breath. I didn't get to read it. Ranger Part 1. Oh yeah, and I got... Kasala got new shoes. Because on um, Elistia, there was actually a lot of chests that I missed. So Athena shoes. Oh, she needs to do a few more battles in those first. Alright, and then it was Zegrim. Iron Demon. Spectral Gleam. Violet Nimbus. So there's that. And the Winter's Chill. Alright, cool. I mean, I may as well do some combining. Oh yeah, and I also did this. Oriad Hatchet. No idea how this is going to work. Like, work out, but we'll find out. Right, combine. Some stuff. Um. Sorry, I'll just do it this way. Do that with a crappy weapon. Probably won't come up with all that much. Not anything that great. Patui! Oh my god, really? It came out with the Imp's Flame. Which is exactly what that is. Yeah, whatever. There we are. This should come out with something a little better. I would hope. Ooh! Fancy. Moonblade. Yeah, I'll just do the same with these. There we go. Oh, really? The Alcyon S. Oh, wow. Got two types of it. The Alcyon S and the Alcyon Plus. And this probably is going to come out with... Oh, right. That is a weapon I've not seen. Vortex Star. Oh, right, yeah. May as well try this. This is either going to create her best weapon, or it's going to create a crappy weapon. Oh, we'll see. Okay, created something good. Good. Ooh! Level 47. I think that's it. Yeah, the Beast King's hatchet. 292. Level 47. I don't know if it gets any higher than 47. Like, that's also 47. Kisala, that's 48 there. That's a thing. I just need to get her succubus slippers up a little bit. And I might as well work on Simon's stuff too. Ah. Uh, so that's level 22, level 34, level 20. I'll combine those together. Yeah, it'll probably just result in something better. Ooh! Level 40, Jesus. Uh, it's for the weapons. 
I might just try the... I really don't know. I'll try this. With this. I didn't really get to use all that many of Simon's stuff. Well, never mind. He didn't have any left over. That's why. What the? The level 41 from those two alone. Although I'm pretty sure that weapon was like a level 40. So it only increased it by a single level. Eh, whatever. Great weapons, synthesis. Oh my god, I filled up four pages. Ugh, five pages. I've also got 830,000 zen, so I'm loaded. Oh dear, what a waste. Thanks for your reckless behavior. The Lepognon Mammoth's bones fell from the connecting bridge. Its tusks are extremely rare, and now they're gone, you idiots. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. That's another special item. I think, anyway. Info Edge. Ah, there we go. The Lepognon Mammoth's bones. When you defeat the Tower Predator, Lepognon Mammoth, on the bridge of the Gladius Towers, what class... What Kloss appeared and said, Lepognon Mammoth's tusks are rare, you fought so recklessly that the creature's bones fell down below. So in that case, they would just be, like, straight down, would they not? Yeah, whatever. Where am I going? This is the right way. To be fair, where I actually ended the session was right in front of a boss. Yeah, literally not even that far away from a boss. I found it out as soon as I started recording. Because I went up the elevator, and as soon as I stepped off of it, I was like, hmm, this looks awfully like a boss area. This isn't good. And what do you know, it was. So it just made me, re not realise, it made me think I should have probably just recorded for five more minutes just to beat the boss. Oh, never mind. Um, Desert Wind, I guess. Boom! Yeah, shoot him today. Perfect. Oh god, she actually needs to do quite a bit more. Like a few more battles to get the succubus slippers up to. Up to being able to be synthesized. I'm just hoping it'll come out with a level 48 or 47 weapon. I don't see why it wouldn't. Because I mean, the slippers she was using before are level 42s, I think. Or a 41. And then the succubus slippers... Oh no, I think the the other ones are level 44s, and what she's using now are level 42s. So those two together should create a level 40. Well, it should create an item that's a higher level. I bloody hope so. I, hope nothing gets I mean, to be fair, I don't really mind. Let's go. All things considered. Considering I've been using Earthshaker for... I don't even know how long at this point. Here they come. Here they come. But regardless, I've been using it for a while. It's, it served me well. That was over before I thought it would be. Hmm. Vengeful souls. They're swirling all over the tower. Right. Boom. Right, we made it back. I didn't think it would actually take so long. I was tempted to use the stealth pills, but... For the most part, I don't really like them. This place is pretty rough. Mostly because I like fighting. Okay? Especially if it's enemies that I haven't finished. Oh yeah, I never exchanged any points. I'll say first. Because this is going to rank me up a bunch. And I'm going to love it. Yeah, save over that. Because then if it screws up again, I can reload the other end and just go back and do what I've, what I've just done. Downside is trying to remember and replicate it. Because that would be hard. I get 19,000 for all this. This might put me down to rank 5. And it did. 2.52. So we beat Quinn. Now I'm 13,000 away from rank 4. Not bad. 2 strength stars, 3 hunter coins, 5 battle feed, 3 hunter coins. Ah, oh, that's what I should have done off screen. When I was hunting stuff, I should have got insectors. Never mind. I always forget. I don't know why, just the insector stuff is something I always completely forget about. Alright. Worst part is I know that the game can freeze at any moment, because when it crashed, when I was recording it earlier, it was as I had stepped onto an elevator. 
Or as I was going down or up an elevator. It kind of sucked. The second tower throne room. But I've not really done anything to, you know, fix the issue. I was going to try a bunch of different things. Like downloading a different version of the game. Seeing if that fixed anything. I was even going to use, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Toxic DL Patcher. But I wasn't sure if that would work with a PS, like on the PS3. It's because it's a dual layer disc, and I think that's why it's causing issues. What do you want? Because it's a dual layer ISO. This is the king's chamber. No place for commoners to be barging in. We're here by order of your father, the Libra King. Please hear us out. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. My dead father sent you here. Mm-hmm. So the dead are now recruiting the living. Or is this all my brother Logan's doing? Don't you see? The Libra King is no longer of this world. But neither are you. You've been dead for a long time. Your obsession with the throne prevents you from moving on. All you are now is a phantom, cursed to haunt this tower for eternity. Huh. Don't be absurd. Fine. Then take a look at this. What? That's my father's sword. Where did you get it? He gave me it. It was a gift, and I've not used it once. Oh, I see now. Logan went so far as to use father's name in his little scheme. Oh, wow. An unforgivable folly. Horns of Logan, I shall bury you all in the name of the king. Why is Simon here? Phantom... Gazelle? Gazel? Oh shit. Of course he won't. He's a boss. Bosses don't usually listen to reason. They're crazy like that. Kasala, I have no idea what you can do. I actually, yes I do. Starlink Venus. Go for it. I just really hope it does damage. Oh man, it did. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Oh, bloody hell. <gasps> oh, Jesus. God, Kisala got fucked. Yeah, you did. <laughs> what a pushover. Perfect reviver. And some stealth pills. God, that really was. That was easier than the first time. But Kasala died the first time I did this as well. <laughs> Illusion Sword and Warrior God's Cry is just ridiculously strong. It was as though he spoke to me with every strike. Funny that, considering I didn't use the sword. So, you deny me, Father. I have lost myself in the pursuit of the throne. Hmm. I was a poor excuse for a king. I am nothing compared to my father. Please, tell my brother Logan for me. Tell him the throne is his. And that he is the one fit to succeed our father. Hmm. Oh, well, that ended, um, abruptly. Yeah, kinda. I don't know, I just thought our party would, like, talk between one another or something. But I guess not. And I'm realising how this dungeon is so long. Because there are two boss fights. Technically, we're only halfway done with the dungeon. On the plus side, I can actually get another quarry. And also with the Platinum License, finally. Hmm. Oh dear. But I think I've actually explored as much as I can of this side of the tower. That is until I found all of the save points, and then it highlights all of the chests. And then I realise just how much I've missed. Yeah, there's no way I'm running all the way back. Saw that noise. Um, 
Galaxy Corporation, into the entrance. Right, if I remember rightly, this points me towards the door outside, right? Yes, it does. We did it. Right, I need to speak with Mio first. And then go and speak with the chick on the other side. Uh, obtain a hunter's license. You ready for this? You got a gold license. I have enough for a platinum. Oh, 66 coins. With 60 coins you can get a platinum license. Well, how about that? You made it. I'll just trade in your hunter 60 hunter coins here. And voila, here's your platinum license. Your license gives you all sorts of special perks, so try not to lose it, okay? I don't remember what the perks are. Is it like a 30% discount? As well as getting access to, to buying certain um, items. Wow, my hunter ranking. Uh, okay, of course, I'm nearly at 100% with that. Quarry is only 27%. Frog log. Actually, a lot closer than I thought. Revelation flow. There's no way I'm getting 100% across the board. If I could get 100% in hunter ranking... I'm trying to think of the others. If I could get it in hunter ranking... I want to say and quarries, but seeing how little of them I've done, it makes me kind of like, maybe not. Hmm. Insectron, yeah, that'd be perfect. As long as I register a, si a single percent on Insectron, I think that'll be sufficient for me. I might not even like how it plays, I don't know. I've not even, like, really given it a try. I really don't know. If I can just get 100% in Hunter rankings, I'll be happy. I mean, I don't... I didn't aim to, you know, 100% anything in this game. But the Hunter ranking is something that's just... weirdly satisfying. Like, it makes you want to hunt all of these enemies, because then you'll climb the ranks. And it's really cool, because we actually started all the way at the bottom. Which was like a... I don't know rank, what rank it was. I think it was well over a hundred. The Sin Steeped Drifter. Jiraika Petrba Kakwa, the Blind Alley. Often seen walking quietly in the jungle, but actually a brutal, ill-tempered killer. Fun. How nice. And none of the others. Yep. So, we got another quarry. Let's have a look at what it is. Oh, okay. Oh, it's one of those! My god, look at the nose! I hate the fact that I can see that it has bright green eyes. Huh. So it's essentially a dark... I can't remember what they're called. Dark something. Bollocks. What are they called? Dancing doll. Oh no. God, what were they called? Killer Mitchell Scorpions. Smiler Fancy Fowl. Dark... Gigant. Essentially, it's one of those, but it's one with a nose and a tree on top of it. It's just slightly different. Hmm. Regardless, let us go. They did say that the bones fell below, so I'm wondering if maybe somebody over here. Ah, uh, uh, Linda! When I looked up at the towers, this huge mess of stuff that looked like bones dropped out of the sky. Well, lucky nobody got hurt. A couple of Mio friends cleaned up the mess and took it to the prison waste disposal area. Great. Prison waste. So, waste disposal is where I want to go. Son of a bitch. So that would be... There we go. The Lepognan Mammoth Bones. When you spoke to Linda at the Gladius Tower's route, she told you about two Mio friends cleaning up after some large bones that had fallen from the sky. She said they were planning to dispose of them in the waste disposal area where they were. Oh, isn't that where the salamander is? Yeah, like the scrap salamander. I think it is. The heck is going on? In which case, that's not actually that bad. So I'm pretty sure I can fast travel there directly. Yeah. I quite, I quite like the side quests, if they can be called that. They're not really side quests, because all they lead to is getting a special item. I quite like them. They're fun. Mostly because you have to try and figure out what the hell... ...it is you're after, or where you have to go, or who you have to speak to. I think I know who the two Mio fans were, though. Yeah, like the Ultra Mega fans that we've seen beforehand. I think one of them's got a massive nose. Which is kind of common in this game. <laughs> so I'm noticing. Yeah, every, every character's just got a very prominent nose. 
So you've got Dr. Picaccio, who looks like the human manifestation of Pinocchio himself. He has a massive nose. You have the quarry that we just acquired. I mean, granted, that's not a person, but still counts. He's got a massive nose. And then one of those fans. I think he had a massive nose. Can't quite remember. Did Casala... F Did she seriously, seriously fall off the edge? How dumb are you? Jesus. Boop, boop. Righty-ho. Ah, uh, so now it all begins. <laughs> now the worry starts to set in. I just really don't know what the hell the issue is with this game, sometimes. Like, I can't think what would be causing issues. Unless it is the fact that it's just a dual layer game. But who knows. I wonder where this is. Wait, is the exit? Of course. Oh god, frame rate, Jesus. Uh, now I have to really remember. Where's the correct way to go? Let's hurry and persuade the two princes. Let's oh wow. Two type keys right away. That is not what I wanted to do at all. Wow, alright. Jesus. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I need to keep an eye on her, on her shoes. I think straight ahead is what leads to the elevator. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, whatever. I heard that in ancient times there was a way to separate the soul from the body. Actually, I think this could be the the wrong way. In which case, that's good. Famished wolf. That's for Zegrim. I mean, I'm still remembering stuff from when I recorded earlier. I'm not remember, me, remembering locations at all. For whatever reason. It's just not registering. Whoop. Did I even manage to hit that one? Oh, I did. I guess. Either that or Lilica did. Right, who's missing the most health? Oh, uh, we all are. I think... Yeah. Jester was missing the most. Though, technically, he does have the most health, so... That's also something. Oh god, I think this is the right way. Well, on the plus side, I have a bunch of stealth pills, so... Can't complain too much. Although, to be fair, the stealth pills are not really that great. They don't last. No, they don't last long at all. I think... I think their entire duration is maybe a minute. Yeah, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Those guys were no challenge at all. But I do know that they don't last very long. Uh, oh no, this was the wrong way. Okay, good. Absolute zero stone. Yeah, I remembered getting that. Because I need that for actually a, a factory thing. As far as I'm aware, I needed something that is... I'm pretty sure it said very, very cold, which I'm assuming Absolute Zero is. <laughs> Alright. Oh god. Well, that was weird. Like, the fact I jumped and then it just... literally just forced me down onto the ground. Well, we're both screwed. <laughs> we're both attacking each other and nothing happened. Yeah, very good. Well, on the, on the plus side, I went the wrong way. Like, I always prefer that, because then I don't need to double back. Just to, you know, get maybe one or two chests. And if I'm really unlucky, I have to double back to get nothing. Because literally the only place, or the only thing that it led to was a dead end. More type Gs. Why the hell are they so common now? Wait, I hit that with a charge attack. That's bullshit, dude. Whatever. Oh! That was a cinch. Oh, I got a recharge drink. Kind of an issue, because I've not really been using AP at all. Case in point. Hadn't used it a single time. 
I think it's because if I go against a shielded enemy, like, using Desert Wind is just not worth it. Because I still have to deal with the shielded enemy, so it just makes more sense to just deal with them all without using abilities. I kind of wish there was an ability that would cut through shields and also damage the enemy. Because I know, like, Flash Sword and everything does cut through shields, but... I'm also mean, like, an attack that is Desert Wind. I can't remember if this is the right way to go. An attack that hits like Desert Wind, but also cuts through shields. That's essentially what I really want. It would just be the best. Oh, a bunch of red bots. Best part about these things is they die instantly. Yeah, they aren't the strongest. I got three max heals from them. That's perfect, actually. And boof. I was not expecting to get three, though. Okay. I vaguely remember this area. Yeah, because when I came across that, I assumed it was a mimic. But that's when it dawned on me that every different... Every different chest design has this, has a very specific lock design as well. Which, to be honest, I just find to be a really cool, um... Detail. Couldn't think of the word at all. Yes, I'm working on it. More ancient swords. Why are you so common? Oh, fuck your ass. There he goes. Wow, okay. Shooting it to death was not so great. Oh, there we go. One more battle. Link is Harlequin. Synthesize her shoes. And hopefully get, like, ultra, mega, super powerful shoes. That is the hope. They might be the best shoes that she can use. I'm not entirely sure. Because I thought the max level weapon anybody could get was level 47. Aside from Jester. Like, I think he's the exception to that rule. But then Kasala got a level 48 weapon, and I'm like, hmm, maybe not. <laughs> and at that point, I just didn't know what was real. No. Oh, wow. Well done, ladies. Perfect. Uh, Jester again. Seems Jester's someone that's getting screwed up the most. All right, Toady. Where? There he is. Oh, using battle. It's not something I can equip. Sadly. Aura shoes. What about her rose pumps? Alright, so now I can combine. That. And that. Fingers crossed. Hey, very good. Oh dear. Angelic Roses. Passed down through the galaxy since antiquity. 289, and her weapon... Is her weapon a 300? Yeah. She's got pretty good stuff. Yeah. What's the, um... Like, stats for this, then? Also pretty damn good. Well, that's gonna take a while for that to get to max. I can't... F feed... Give me a break. Alright, whatever. Mm. Alright, cool. On the plus side, she did get some new shoes. Oh, man. Her wearing her golden shoes. To be fair, the succubus slippers probably fit in better. All things considered. Yeah, just because they actually matched the outfit. Oh, nice. There's 3,000 more points. Ooh. I'm getting there. I need 10k. Yeah. But then from then, or from there, I need 50,000. Then I would need 30,000. And then 8,000. The distance between, like, rank 1 and 2. Not that much. But I also don't think they've moved. Also, I should store some, um... Yeah, armors that I don't need, which is this, as well as this, uh, not Kasala's. Ah, oh, there we go. 
I don't know if there are any others. No, there aren't. Okay, cool. Where's Digo's? Oh, that's his. Okay, never mind. And save. Right, I think we're gonna... I'm gonna use a stealth pill. I think it was actually here that I used a stealth pill previously, too. Yeah, just so I can go and explore the rest without having to worry about fighting every five steps. Downside is I don't think I'm going to be able to cover all that much ground. Where are the stealth pills? There they are. Seven of them. Invisibility capsules. Hides your presence from weak enemies for a short duration. Right, we've messed our presence. Let's get on it. You're only on the second floor. But I think it was here where the game actually froze. Yeah, thinking on it. I almost completely screwed off uh, myself by running into a dead end. Like, I have a feeling the way the stealth pills work is it's a timer. It's not, like, how many steps you've taken. But if I remember rightly, they started to wear off as I got closer to... Essentially, as I got closer to there. So it should hopefully do the same this time. 